So today I'm here with Lisa Nash, who is a longtime supporter of Luminous Community Services, which we're going to learn all about today, including their upcoming fundraiser, which is called Embody Yoga. But before we get into all of those details, do you want to just take a quick second to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, thank you so much for having me, by the way. And uh, yes, my name is Lisa Nash, and I am a real estate agent. Uh, I have my Lisa Nash Homes is the name of my uh, company. And um, I have been with Luminous probably since about 2016. Uh, back when it was still Ulagan, and then from Ulagan went to Skylark and then became uh, Luminous after the amalgamation. Um, and uh, I have been a longtime supporter in mental health. And uh, I'm actually happy to say that this year I am going to be uh, one of their sponsors of the upcoming Embody Yoga event. Amazing. I love how people are able to kind of connect their platforms and passions into things that are meaningful in the community. So first of all, thank you for doing that. <laughs> and for anybody who doesn't know, can you just start off by telling us a little bit more about Luminous Community Services and what they offer? Yes, absolutely. So Luminous is actually one of Ontario's largest community agencies and providing mental health developmental autism and early year intervention services to infants, children, youth, and families all across the greater Toronto area. And uh, Luminous offers over 120 programs and services, uh, individual and family counseling, for example. They have five walk-in clinics, day programs, live-in treatment, early years, developmental and autism services, and that's just to name a few. Uh, the goal is to really remove the uh, barriers that clients face on their road to wellness. And um, Luminous likes to push open the doors that feel heavy for these clients and uh, give clients a chance to be seen, be heard, and most importantly, be well. That's amazing. And I love how they're kind of like, oh, they oversee so many different aspects of mental health, because obviously a lot of those things are related to the Absolutely. mental well-being of all of us. Yeah. So that's awesome. And can you tell us why you got involved with Luminous? What brought you to this organization specifically? And what has been the most fulfilling part of this whole experience for you? Yeah. So um, probably, unfortunately, like a lot of people, I've had a lot of uh, family friends who suffer from mental health challenges. And, uh, you know, the, the clinical sort of way that people, you know, go in the beginning, it's always a uh, very sort of, I don't know, I don't want to call it a cold approach, but it, it just doesn't ever feel like you're really being being uh, heard. And um, so what I liked about Luminous is the community uh, feel that you, that you got, uh, you know, with their walk-in facilities and that uh, people can come in off the street and know that, you know, somebody is actually going to listen to them and uh, and be able to advise them on the best uh, on the best health. So uh, having great mental health is really, really important to me um, as a real estate agent. And one of the reasons why I chose to sponsor this year's event is because this is a challenging year uh, for many people financially, and it adds a lot of financial stress when things like the interest rates go up and all of a sudden you can't necessarily afford your your mortgage payments anymore and, and things like that. So I'm always aware of uh, maintaining my own mental health, but also, you know, helping the people that I love uh, maintain theirs as well. Amazing. I love that. And again, kind of just like combining work with like our well-being, which I think is something that a lot of people don't really acknowledge, but it is such a big part of us. So I'm glad that you're able to combine those passions together. Um, and you mentioned that you're also on the committee for Luminous. So can you talk a bit about what that role entails? So we get together um, every every month or couple of months in that. And uh, there's a group of us and we discuss uh, fundraising activities and um, what we can do, different marketing ideas, uh, ways that we can bring 
um, different companies to come into Luminous and help support us become partners um, in the in the uh, uh, road to getting these people uh, with um, maintaining their good mental health. Um, so we spend a lot of time trying to figure out how we can reach more people and really how we can raise more funds because Luminous is a nonprofit organization. So, and that's part of what the Embody Yoga uh, event is all about. We have to raise money because, uh, you know, providing good mental health is, is expensive. And in order for people to get the treatment that they need, we have to rely on individuals, corporations to provide us with funding. Absolutely. Yeah. It's kind of that like uncomfortable discussion that comes with nonprofits. Like a lot of the work we do is for the community and what we kind of want to offer people, but funds are a big part of that conversation. So it's awesome that you're able to combine kind of like a yoga event, which is really good for our mental health, which like contributes to so many things with like a good fundraiser to send money in a good direction. So expanding on Embody Yoga, this event that's coming up on Sunday, March 5th, can you talk about what the event actually is, where the funds are anticipated to go, um, and how it's related to Luminous's mission? For sure. So yes, it is uh, on March the 5th, and uh, it is uh, going to be held at the Ontario Science Centre. And uh, it is open to everybody, which is uh, which is great. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out, there's going to be a light breakfast for everyone. And, uh, and then there's going to be an hour of yoga and meditation. And what's really great is uh, this year, we're also going to have um, a, a kids component to it. So and uh, this is all sponsored by Afterglow. And uh, they're going to have their own sort of yoga, yoga instructors teaching them as well. Uh, there's also going to be um, a swag bag for people, anybody that raises over $125 because we are ex uh, accepting pledges. And uh, so the idea is that when you when you um, sign up to be part of the event, uh, please uh, create your own team and encourage people to uh, sponsor you for the yoga event. And anybody that uh, raises over $125 will actually get a free yoga mat, which is just awesome. Um, there's also going to be, uh, and sorry, the yoga mat is a B mat, and uh, which is a great quality mat. I'll tell you, I have one and it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, there's going to be a silent auction. There's going to be raffle prizes as well. And, um, you know, basically the money raised will will go towards uh, Luminous and towards a lot of the uh, programs that uh, that they're trying to do to help people um, in, in whatever way they can. Um, so whether it's a caregiver or um, anybody in crisis, uh, the money is there to uh, go towards helping these people. And our goal is to reach $150,000. Uh, and um, the support, remember, it helps to take down that barrier that unfortunately a lot of people uh, are faced with that are having some challenges right now in their life. Um, wait lists are long. Uh, funding constraints are part of reality. So I'm hoping that everybody on here is uh, is going to consider um, coming to the event. If you can't come to the event, uh, please consider donating. Um, there is a, uh, a fundraising page and I hope you're going to have it maybe a link to it at the bottom of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that correct? But yeah. uh, basically if you go to uh, justgiving.com, there's a, you're going to see a campaign for Embody Yoga 2023 um, and uh, and you'll be able to give there. Amazing. Yeah. And it sounds like such an incredible event local to most of my listeners all here in the GTA. Um, but yeah, I just love how you're able to like incentivize this as well. Like the raffle prizes, silent auction. It's such a plus. <laughs> Yeah, and it, you know what? It makes it so much more fun when you do things like that. And I think the best part is that the whole family can get involved. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, yoga is great. Yoga is great for any age. So come on out and support us. 
<laughs> That's amazing. And is Afterglow located in, in Toronto, their studio? Uh, yes, yes, they are. And uh, we do have some instructors. There were instructors uh, last year and this year uh, from Afterglow, and they're awesome. Do you know if they have other locations or is it just in Toronto? Uh, you know what? I actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I can definitely find out about that. Uh, not sure on their locations, but we can uh, possibly add in that too. Yeah, sorry. That was not in your interview question prep. I was just curious. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, no clue. All good. Um, but yeah, that was my second piece. I love how you have that kids component because then that way, like parents don't have to worry about finding a sitter no. or leaving their kids right. anywhere. No, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. And especially because Luminous has such a big family component, I think that is really like reflected in this event, which is amazing. Yes, I absolutely agree. <laughs> amazing. And I guess just lastly, like how can people get involved with Luminous generally? Like you talked about the fundraiser, but like how do we know about other upcoming initiatives and things like that? So as always, I mean, you can you can go to the Luminous uh, website, uh, luminous.ca, and there's all sorts of information on there. Um, uh, you can always reach out to me at lisanashhomes.com and uh, I can guide you through the process uh, as well. But if you go to the website, you'll see that whatever, uh, whether you're looking to donate or if you're struggling, all sorts of information, it's easy to digest too, and it's easy to sort of navigate through the whole um, website too. Amazing. And sorry, another off book question here, but yeah. do you have any advice for anybody who is maybe interested in getting involved in the mental health space as like a fundraiser or sponsor, things like what you're doing? Uh, yeah. I mean, anybody, honestly, like, I think what you have to do is when you're looking to get involved in any kind of fundraising, um, you have to find out, you, you have to ask yourself, you know, why are you doing it? And, um, you know, what is most important to you? Because, I mean, there's lots of uh, fundraising opportunities out there, but what really speaks to you? Like I get asked all the time, you know, as everybody does, you know, donate to this cause and uh, whatever, and they're all great, but there has to be a reason why it uh, it speaks to you. And uh, and then once you, once you figure out which cause, <clears throat> there's also probably gonna be more than one organization. So you also have to ask yourself, what are you, what are you looking for out of the organization? Um, I, so something that I was always really interested in and why I got involved uh, in Luminous is uh, they were very open to having somebody that had marketing ideas. And, and my background prior to being in real estate was in advertising and marketing. So that's sort of near and dear to my heart. And I, uh, one of the reasons why I was part of the committee is because they sort of welcomed my uh, contribution that I had in terms of advertising and marketing. And, uh, and so that sort of fed another side to me because um, I, I, I love, you know, figuring out, oh, okay, why should this, you know, what's the fit with this corporation? Why should they maybe get involved in um, in helping us on our on our uh, goal to uh, have better mental health? And uh, so I think that's you have to go through that sort of process when you're looking to get involved in fundraising is what you really want to get out of it rather than just, you know, the fact that you want to just give dollars. It's got to be a little bit more than that or else, you know, you it, you're not going to get the the benefit of uh, the true benefit of giving. It has to, it has to be about something more than just, you know, donating some dollars and that. I love that. And I think that's such great advice because like what you said there at the end, like true donating, true giving, it's great to just, if you do have the means to donate it, there's so many great organizations and fundraisers out there that are in need of funds, but a donation mixed with like passion and care is so much better because then you can get involved in a way that you are and not just like submitting a donation online, but actually being involved in the organization and submitting your thoughts and ideas and things like that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Amazing. Well, 
This has been great. I'm so excited to release this episode and help promote Embody Yoga. I'm going to be there. Lisa's going to be there. It's going to be a great time. I hope that we have some people joining us, donating if you can, but donating with passion as well. If you care about mental health and community, we want your support. So Lisa, thank you so much for your time. And I really appreciate everything you're doing. Oh, thank you so much. And I appreciate you uh, inviting me as well today.